the annual or biannual uh, workers compensation bill comes up every year or two what happens is uh, starting in the fall the advisory council workers compensation advisory council gets together this was started 20 years ago and it's a group of about 26 or 27 uh, individuals representing a variety of groups and they come together and discuss what's going on within the workers compensation uh, community and what what needs to be changed what things are, are available and they come together and hopefully they come together with a series of recommendations that they bring forth um, sometimes it goes pretty smoothly and other times it's a little bit more difficult it's a kind of a give and take and we anticipate the the um, uh, hopefully the desire or the the outcome is a truly a consensus uh, of all so that we have we balance between supporting businesses with good sound workers compensation uh, laws and programs uh, along with taking care of the employees uh, that are injured on the job and that's really the, the premises b behind this and there were just several components I think the most uh, important one the most noticeable one was the we put into effect that all injuries uh, after July 1st of 2013 that are non-catastrophic very important term that are non-catastrophic that there's a maximum medical uh, benefit opportunity for 400 weeks that's the as long as the medical benefits can go for that particular uh, situation to balance that out we also change the uh, mileage reimbursement uh, turnaround from 30 days down to 15 days so we've got to make those payments a little bit quicker we also uh, changed a, uh, a re return to work good faith effort requirement and so we said that a worker when they have a return to work light duty program or return to work program when they come back to work they have to be able to show a good faith effort for 15 days up to 15 days uh, that uh, says they'll work a minimum of eight hours or their regular shift whichever is longer it's a very important uh, part uh, to us we also there's sometimes uh, advances and payouts uh, when there's settlements in a current interest rate uh, climate has declined so we moved the interest rate from seven percent down to five percent uh, and then the final effort to help the employees that we said all injuries that incur that occur July 1st or later we've increased the maximum payout for both permanent and temporary to uh, about a five percent increase I think it, it sends a very strong statement to the business community we're already rated in the top five across the country as far as the soundness of our workers compensation program and so there's many that think that we, we really treat it the right way. Everybody has those horror stories where they think that people are abusing the system. But day in, day out, we really have a very strong commitment uh, and, and a very good proactive program that most businesses are very excited. Uh, there's many other states that wish they had a program like ours. So I think this not only improves the program that we have today, but it also is another great example for us to tell businesses that are in the state or looking at coming to the state uh, that we really care about business and that we're a pro-business uh, environment and a climate and we really want to take care of the businesses, uh, the business community.